WQIT Sports. Ben, Jackie Bray. Jackie, what's up? Not a whole lot. Well, not for us, really, but Antonio Cromartie has some baby mama drama. One well, if, one you if know, he already did. He was on uh, Hard Knocks, the HBO show in the off season. Oh, really? Yeah, and the whole big deal was that he he had he tried to name his, what does he have, nine kids? His nine kids. Yeah, he had trouble naming his nine kids, although I think we all thought that that was, uh, that was wildly overblown. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah that was totally unfair. Because, first of all, he did name them. He was listing them with their ages. He was listing them with the ages. Okay. And, like when, and their birthday's coming up. And you have nine kids. Like, it's not a game. You don't have to name them in 15 <laughs> seconds. He did name them all. It took 30 seconds. He stumbled on a couple, but it was because he was, like, trying to figure out, like, where they fit in oh, age-wise. Okay. And then everybody was like, he doesn't know his kids. It was crap. He to totally knew his kids. And oh. then he said afterwards, I'd already done it once. And I was just trying to get it with the ages. Anyway, he knew his kids. It was, it was unfair. And it, I thought, uh, actually, a tiny bit racist, even if it was, even if it was unintentionally really? racist. Yeah, he knows his kids. I mean, he does have nine kids in six states with eight different women. I mean, <laughs> yeah. it's totally, totally messed up. That's but, a lot. But nonetheless, <laughs> he knows his kids. And he was, like, working, to, and, he, and throughout the, and during the show, he's talking about, like, the importance of providing for him. So, oh, I mean, well, that's good, as yeah. long as he cares about his kids. He does. It's totally messed up how many kids he has. And there's something in this story that we're about to tell you that tells you he's all into having the kids. Like, oh, he's guy's, definitely into having some kids. There's no interest in birth control. No. It's totally messed up. But he knows who his kids are. <laughs> he's very big on spreading his seed. Yeah. And now, according to one of his uh, baby mamas, Rhonda Patterson, when they would make love, where, and apparently he is they were, they were They were engaged to be married. Yeah, right. They were going to get married, and uh, apparently he is a fantastic lover. Mm. And when they would make love, he would, he would look her in the eyes and say, um, please have a baby with me, mm. something to that effect. And so she thought, oh, well, he loves me. That means he loves me. Okay. Does so, that work? Uh, no one's ever asked me to have their baby, thank God. Look, man, I don't want to get too personal. But <laughs> wouldn't that I, No, wouldn't that, that would not work on me at all. I would run very fast. Yeah. No, that, I don't find that sexy at all. Yeah. Well, this is, you know, this is a, we can skip a step. You know how guys have to be, well, I don't know how often we're faced with the fact of saying, and I'm trying to get her in bed. I, I love you. Maybe you just say, I want you to have my baby. I don't have to say I love you anymore, and I got it. Come right, on. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Maybe. throw on the condom later and be like, oh, I, right. I changed my mind. Right. Here, let's use this. All right, I want you to have my baby. Not now. <laughs> yeah. um, for the Maybe love of God. Later. Right. Um, Maybe later. Yeah. And, well, okay, and so now Rhonda Patterson, now he dumped her two days before their $200,000 wedding. Read the whole quote. And I, you know, the whole again, quote? Again, this is, this is I, I, I'm uncomfortable with okay, all this I stuff. But he was, no, uh, that, you know, the, he was one of those lovers who would. Right. Oh, he was one of the lovers that would look you in the eye and stroke your hair. And she's just looking back on their whole relationship very fondly. I mean, don't we all do that? I mean, that's like, I mean, who's, I mean, that's Not if he, if he dump you before, two days before the wedding, I would be pissed. I mean, caress you and stroke your hair. <laughs> whoop de do. That's not a. Uh, it doesn't is sound that some impressive. great move? I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but, Apparently, I'm a great lover. <laughs> <laughs> but now she's writing a book about. Um, it's not really a tell all. She's not even naming him in the book. Mm. Which doesn't. <laughs> do you need a minute? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Is it working? Yeah, totally. <laughs> okay. And she's writing a tell-all to help other women to not get in the same position that she's in now. Uh, I, you know, this story doesn't interest me even uh, remotely, but there's <laughs> one great part of the story, one totally awesome part of the story, right? First of all, she's a corporate lawyer. Oh, yeah, she is a corporate lawyer. She's a former beauty queen. Miss North Carolina. Miss, Miss North Carolina. Miss Black North Carolina. Right. right? Um, and uh, she... <laughs> So the book, and forgive me if you said this and I was busy stroking my face. <laughs> um, but the, the book, Love Interrupted, a tale of football, falling, and failing in love. Mm. Um, was that, J.R.? That's my heart. Uh, it should work. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, she doesn't uh, use his name, right? Yeah, she's not trash-talking him in this book at all. Right. She just refers to him um, as the uh, football player who has sired nine kids with eight different women, <laughs> yeah. right? Who everybody knows is Antonio Cromartie. Right. Right. And then she says, he goes nameless because the story is bigger than him. It's not meant to bash him. It's meant to help women avoid me. 
Who is she fooling? Yeah, I mean, come on, just name him. <laughs> yeah, just yeah he's it. been identified, but like she's trying to go over the top and be like, it really isn't to bash him, which is why she talked about he's a great lover. He's crazy your head and all this stuff, right? But you know what? If there's this many women who don't get it and would go for that, they need to read this book. But I think if they're if they're already that disconnected from reality, they're not going to read the book anyway. <laughs>